Hey hey, I am Izzy Noodles and welcome to Jade Empire. So as you can see, she kind of drops in out of nowhere. <sighs> so climb on out and let's have a look where we are. So you've got this watery area and across the way there actually is a guy over there. We can't get over there yet, we will need a rope. We have a keyhole there, so that's a sign we will need a key. And actually finding the key is what will produce the rope. Let's have a look over here. There is a block to the left that will retract into the wall to reveal a pedestal to be used later. Also, there is a receptacle right there. And if we come over this way, you don't want to jump over that threshold because you mess up the cinematic. As you can see, Lara is standing in a completely different place to where we ran from. And that little flyby cinematic bit is a hint that we're going to have to climb. So, the walkthrough for this game actually says that Lara speaks. I mean, Lara doesn't speak in the game. So I don't know whether that's an update that's happened, because this game actually isn't on the website. There was a link on the website to a different website to download this game. So it could be it did get updated, but the walkthrough didn't get updated or something like that. But at that point she says, ah, oh, wonderful, but it will be hard work to get up there. So give me a like if you like my voice acting. <laughs> so before we start climbing, just there is a med pack there. And as you walk forward here, she wades in the water, but if you press the walk button, it kind of doesn't really count. So you want to be careful you don't just run off the edge there. So, coming forward, you want to jump to here, but the best way to do it is sort of angle away, but then veer to the right. And yes, I've, I know I've only just started, but I will say, because certain jumps are quite tedious. Okie dokie. Oh, you yes see. I will just possibly sidestep. There we go. So yeah, these jumps are kind of long-winded and tedious. There will be a bit of backwards and forwards in this entire game. I mean, certainly in this first level as well. And a lot of these jumps are pretty much self-explanatory if it might be a standing jump or a running jump but sometimes you actually just can't tell so you are better off to save just in case just in case you get the wrong jump so from here to there and we're going up here from from here yes <laughs> and this one can be a difficult jump because you've got the slopes there we go <laughs> So we're actually heading that way, but first we have a secret just to the right. Don't tell anyone. Shh, it's a secret. So jump over the rocks to the end and be careful. Mind the gap, just jump to here. And you've got a large med pack. That's our secret. So if you're not certain of the areas where you can stand, you can just shimmy along. So don't be afraid to try different things if you're worried you're not going to make a particular jump. And as you pick this up, you want to be careful because it's on the edge of a slope. You can potentially just fall. So do be careful when you pick this up. Uh -huh. Okay. Jump back. There we go. And now we can continue climbing. Whoop. Slow. Okie dokie. So standing jump to here. And from here you want to drop down, but you want to drop a bit more to the right because down below is a diagonal slope and you can potentially just stumble off the edge. This one is a half tile run. It's very difficult to actually do a full tile run, but you need the uh, 
the run-up effect. If you see what I'm saying. Okay, so clearly just straight up to this one. And for this next one, you want to be a bit more to the left because it's slightly higher on the left here. Okay, to this corner and then just standing jump here. And now we want to shimmy along. So to save, you know, some time shimmying, I do tend to do a side jump and just shimmy from there and quite often she won't move once she's grabbed the ledge if that happens just quickly uh, let go and grab it immediately and she'll put her hands in the correct place she's like it's like she's grabbed the edge in the wrong place kind of thing so pull up at the end careful jumping up to this next section so it's slightly higher just on the left corner and you want to be very careful of that sort of V shape right there because you will slide off both of those and just go straight down the back down the back I don't really know what I mean by down the back <laughs> so now carefully jump to here so there is a secret we can get around here you can get it now or you can get it on the way back down if you get it now the way back down will be considerably easier but you will have to do all those jumps again. So I will choose to get it on the way back down simply so I can show you how to get back down. And if you want the secret now, just uh, skip ahead because I've always got in the description at what point I'm picking up what. So check the description, see where I'm picking up secret two and that's where you can have a look if you want to get it now. Okay, and then we've got to run and jump to here. It's not too tricky to judge. There we go. One of them panicking jumps that's actually not actually as bad as you think. And be careful running to here because you can potentially run off the edge. So you can press the look button. Sometimes it doesn't quite work. You might need to sidestep to the right to be able to actually look. And there is a building there. We can't get there yet. So that's a thing we're going to have to come back up here to. Kind of irritating. I'm really not a fan of being backwards and forwards in games. It's just me. Some people might enjoy the backwards and forwards, but not myself. Whoops. So that's a run and jump. Just be careful you are lined up properly for some of these because sometimes you can just be a pixel out. Okay, and once we get to the next one. We're going to turn to the left. Take a left turn. So over this way, because we it is tedious and long-winded, and it, these jumps kind of do get on my nerves, but I suppose that's the point of Tomb Raider. It's the jumps and the climbs. That's what Tomb Raider is. Izzy, stop complaining. <laughs> so this next jump you do not want to grab because she just won't grab. She can land straight on it. And she will not grab. You will just fall down. So close you can almost taste it. So you see the blocks above Lara's head. We're heading up to there.
I know I'm not saying very much for these jumps, but you can see what I'm doing. There's no explanation needed, really. Only on certain ones. Okay, and then to here. And then you're aiming for that corner. You can stand on the corner, but you want to be careful because... 10% of the time she will shimmy, but the rest of the time, if you grab the slope that's there, the edge of it, she won't shimmy along, and I don't know why. So yeah, let's not aim for that. For some reason I was about to jump and aim for the bit. I've just said you can't shimmy along. I don't know why. And if you slide off the slope backwards, she will not grab. <laughs> she won't. She'll fling her arms out, but she won't grab. So this jump is also very tricky. I prefer to do it from this side. Okay, it's going to take a few attempts. It usually takes me quite a few attempts. Oh, let's go. That was exciting. <laughs> oh, dear. Okay. So straight to there where I jumped to. I got too excited that I did that on the first go. <laughs> Alright, here is the key. Uh -huh. You might assume that we're going to climb up there to get something, but there's actually nothing there. So don't worry about that. So if you did already get the secret, you can literally just slide straight down here and land in the water. But if you didn't get the secret... Let's go back and get the secret. So you're slowly making your way back down. Okay, I'm walking because I don't really know where to stand. You're aiming for the edge triangle part. Just jump to there. Ooh. Okay. And now I'm going to aim for the water. So I'm going to just do a standing jump, but I'm going to flip in the air to make sure she slides down backwards and you can grab the edge. You may or may not take a tiny bit of fall damage. Okay, and then just to there, there we go. So it's not too difficult to get back down. It's just working out the best route, the quickest route. Oh! Well, I'm alive, but I wanted to be up there. That's annoying. <laughs> okay. Had a little accident, but it's okay. So, uh, this is above the area where we started. I didn't really mention that before, but... It just makes me wonder, if Lara started up here in the first place, why did she go down and then have to come back up to get the key? Plot hole, maybe she fell. I don't know. But anyway, to get the secret, it's in that little space. But you see just below, there are, the, well, there is a slope. We want to aim to land on the slope, and it can take a few attempts to figure this out. So I'm kind of come as back almost as far as I can. I want to do a half tile jump straight forward. I want to grab in the air so that she slides under the ledge. So let go so that she does not grab the ledge and then grab in the air as soon as you've passed that ledge, if that makes sense. So let's do a, need to do a half tile run. Grab, grab, oh. So how much fall damage can vary, and I think it depends how soon you press grab again after passing the ledge you could potentially grab onto, kind of thing. That kind of shebang. And getting out of it can be tricky as well, you're better off just jumping straight out, because you can just fall straight down onto the concrete because Lara doesn't grab the edge of the ledge, which you assume that she would. I don't know why she doesn't. Anyway, we have the key, and we can now use it. Oh. 
So this is what has produced our ropes. So, these jumps. You've got these poles, but most people that are familiar with TRLEs know that some poles can only be grabbed in the centre. You can't grab them at the edges. These are those kind of poles. But the poles are two tile spaces. You can actually see where they meet in the middle. Which means you can't grab the entire pole in the centre. You have to be either on one tile space or the other. So when you jump forward, make sure you are lined up with the rope. Also, these jumps can kind of almost need to be pixel perfect. If you grab at the last moment, you will get more height than if you were grabbing for the entire jump. And sometimes she can. She will let go of the pole when you don't want her to. If she does that, just let go of grab and then grab again so that she does get that bit more height. I know I'm, I'm probably not making sense, I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm very bad at explaining things. Right, let's do this. Okay, I didn't want to let go. Okay, let go, grab, fail, try again. There we go. I feel as though when I came off that second pole, I didn't get enough height. I don't know. But anyway, you may have noticed I'm not aiming to jump to the ledge where the guy is. There's actually nothing on that ledge. If you want to just jump there and shoot the guy, that's absolutely dandy. But there's nothing there, so we're aiming for these vines over here. Jimmy round to the end. Uh. And climb up from here. We do have this barrier right here, but that's fine. Lara does not uh. give any bothers. No bother has been given about that barrier. Uh -huh. So that was a mystic gem we've just picked up, and in doing so, it has exploded a load of things. That means something has changed in the area. But before I go and explore that, just grab this invisible ledge. There is a crack on the other side, which is how we are able to grab this. And there is a small med pack just around this corner. <coughs> So you will take a tiny bit of full damage. There we go. Not too much though, that's fine. Aha. Uh -huh. I had a feeling I wouldn't make that. I never do, but I try anyway. So, let's go and see what has occurred. Just be careful as you come to the edge when you're wading. So if we look down, we have these blocks here now. They were not there before. And we can climb down and see what's underneath here. You want to be careful with this jump. There we go. That was all right. No, why did you turn? Did she turn just as I wanted to jump back? That is outrageous. Okay, so don't turn this plan, please, Lara. Okay, so these jumps are actually a little trickier than the ones we've already done. First one straightforward. 
careful of the gap. This jump, you need to veer ever so slightly to the right. That's a lie, you can easily stand on that. <laughs> But this jump, you want to be to the left because of this low ceiling. And you may or may not need to grab in the air. Yep, you do need to grab. This one you also need to be to the left, but it's pretty easy to actually make the jump. Um, yeah, usually pretty easy to make that jump. I did not intentionally lie about this jump. Usually, she just lands straight on it. I'm sure she does. <laughs> These ledges are my sorrow. <laughs> okay, next one. I say easy peasy. Yep, there we go. I made it. So that's, yep. Just making sure that it is easy peasy before I say that it's easy peasy. So now just jump onto this broken bridge and it will show us something. Lara speaks here as well, apparently. She says, hmm, a cherry pud. I should take this with me. It might come in handy. So if we look in the inventory, we now have a cherry bud. Not something that you might assume without the speech. But from here, jump up to here. You might need to be a bit more to the left of this block to be able to jump up to it. And then straight up. And then we've got this floor level jump lever, so just jump up to that. So that showed us that block that I said retracted into the wall. Um, it didn't actually show us what it did, but it has actually retracted now. It's disappeared and we can go straight to there. So just be careful on these jumps on the way back as well. Oh, that's all right. I didn't mean to hop back twice. Okay, wish me luck. I believe they are slightly easier on the way back. Don't hold me to that though. So that jump was easier. Yep, we're practically there. Okie dokie. Just don't fall down now because that will be embarrassing. Okay, straight back up to where we were. So here is the block and here is a pedestal. We have, uh, what do we have? We have the mystic gem that we picked up and that's where this goes. Looks very different when you place it. So that has shown us that we now have a path to that other floating building so we can go straight there. So we've got to do all these jumps again. It's okay, we can get through this.
don't know why it took me so long to grab this damn ledge. Okay, we're getting closer. Nearly there. Okay, is it this block? I think it's this block. So from here, this is where we have a new path. Over here. And when you jump from this block, you want to be just a little more to the left because you've got this higher section. So the jumps, yet again, are pretty straightforward. Mostly a running jump. Is it? Is it the running jump? It is indeed a running jump. So from here, that one. And we will take a little bit of fall damage. Okay. From here, we need to do a run and jump and grab in the air so she will land just on the corner. And it is a close call because you are you land right next to the slope. So grab straight away. There we go. Mind the gaps. So we can climb up into there, but there is a secret just around the corner, mind the next gap. And another one here. We have the Wheezies. Yeah. Uh -huh. Obviously there's not too much ammo yet. And I believe that is the only point where you can get the Uzis in this game. I could be wrong, I can't remember. But I feel certain you only get this one opportunity to find the Uzis. So Lara here would say, this is a strange fluid, somehow magical. And on my first playthrough I took a few attempts to run through the spikes, get the fluid, run back again, and as I was over there I noticed this jump switch. And as I pulled it, I thought to myself, I wonder what this switch does. Oh, that's what that does. So, uh, yep, let's go get the fluid. She speaks again once she picks it up. Can you, can you try and... there we go. Maybe I should add the cherry bud to the fluid and see what happens. So, I didn't think to do this. I didn't see that there was a combine option. So now we have glass with a cherry bud. Magic. And we can actually use this in the receptacle opposite where we placed the mystic gem. So, yeah, as you've guessed, we're going straight there. Just have to get back though. Just also be very careful with your jumps. So a lot of these jumps are pretty straightforward. <laughs> uh, 
Okie dokie. From here, over here, we're gonna have to loop around on ourselves. So from here, going left. So for this next one, don't forget to not grab in the air. And now. I don't want to mess this up. <laughs> she breaks her arms. <laughs> so, that's the easiest way down. I think it's potentially the only way down. Anyway, right here is where we place our glass with a cherry bud. We can slide down here. Just swim through this passage. <sighs> Pop down this gap into the next level. So, thank you for watching, everyone. I hope you're enjoying it, and I'll see you next time.